Hi there, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out the UK and this is for my Love Island followers, um, subscribers or whoever is watching this. Um, just a quickie, I wasn't going to talk, I wasn't even going to do a video tonight but I just couldn't help it. I mean, first thing, Leanne, when they showed that preview and she goes, I just don't like you, I'm like, my God, do you have to be that cold? I mean, what has he done? Why you don't like him? I, d I don't think that needed to be worded that way. Honestly, he hasn't done anything wrong. I mean, okay, so you might, I would have more likely have said we're not compatible. But to look blatantly in his face and say, I don't like you, the man, ah, oh, man. Anyway, um, so we had that where she, I don't understand. I think she's, she, uh, it's called the dark side of Love Island for a reason. People have some dark energy because not only does she um, do that by saying, OK, if you don't like the man and you ain't catching feelings, that's fine. But I just think you could have said to him, I mean, she went on too long, number one. She could have just said to him, um, OK, we've been um, seeing each other in the villains for two weeks or however long it is. And I thought I would have been, you know, more attracted to you but the feelings aren't growing. Stop it there. On and on and on until she says, I just don't like you. I'm like, you know, if all his mates are watching, how embarrassing is that? Anyway, she's got it off her chest. I think she's going to regret it because I don't know who's going to come in, who's going to feel for her the way he does. But you never know. It's Love Island, isn't it? You just don't know who's coming in next. Um, oh, and then we've got karma, haven't we? Shanice, she is bad girl. And Luke T, I think they are really, really good together. I really do. There's definitely a spark there. And they really vibe off of each other. He gets her. And um, whereas Rebecca, you see her face. But the fun, you know what I didn't like about Leanne? She goes and opens up her mouth and tells Rebecca that... Um, he likes, he likes Shanice. He wants to put 100% in Shanice. What business has she got telling Rebecca that? Just because she's out of a relationship. She's a little bloody stirrer. But the thing is, serves you right. In that, in that villa, you cannot say anything to anyone. You need to say whatever it is. Before you say it to anyone, say it to the person who it affects. Because what happens in the villa doesn't stay in the villa and what you say to one person doesn't stay with that person it goes all over the place so now it looks like the two of them um, are doing it deliberately getting together deliberately to get back at Rebecca that is how it looks when that is not how it is Luke T has developed genuine feelings for Shanice and I mean he she got chosen and I mean Rebecca chose him. He didn't choose her. So she can't really say anything. But I think, oh, I think Luke T is such a sort. Oh, my God, his little cheeky face, the way he looks, everything. I mean, I can understand why, um, why she likes him. Yeah, but, like, you know, some people say he's not their cup of tea. Somebody at work said, oh, she doesn't like him at all. But... It's their own. So, okay, so we've got that. Now it looks like Mike is going to put it on Sophie. I don't think that's a match. Definitely not a match. Mike needs to get somebody new. I think Mike would be better off with Rebecca, to be honest. I really do. I think those two would click, but not Sophie. Keep your hands off of her. Um, Sophie needs somebody else. And um, I'm not quite sure who. I don't think he's in the villa yet. Although that Scottish guy might. But it all depends how the dynamics play out. Who chooses who tomorrow night. That would be the interesting thing. Because ideally, this is how I'd like it to play out. I would like Shanice and Luke T to get together. I would like the new guy. I forgot his name, sorry. The new guy with... Um, Sophie, Mike with Rebecca, and the other two can stay as they are. Callum, 
and Shauna and Paige and Finley. They can stay as they are. Oh, and of course, we've got the new one in there for um, Naz. Naz's little face. You know, I, I don't... I've got a funny feeling, though. I think he's flattered to have someone. But it looks like he's trying to like her. I get the feeling with Naz that he would prefer someone more natural. You know, like how Shanice is. She looks like that. She looks like, um, oh, what's that girl who's in the water? Mulan, that movie, that Disney movie. She reminds me of that girl. Anyway, she looks like the type of, oh, her, 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 begins with a P, 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 P. Anyway, I can't think of it. But she, I think Naz would prefer that kind of look. Somebody less made up, somebody more natural, somebody with dark hair, more, more like a Shanice. Shanice didn't like Naz, but he was attracted to Shanice from the beginning. But I think somebody like Shanice is more his type. I think that girl, even though she's lovely and she likes him, I don't think he's physically attracted to her. I think the guys are happy for him because, of course, it's the first girl who's showed an interest. But in all honesty, I don't think she's the one. That's just my opinion. Shoot me if I'm wrong. Uh, what else did I write down here? Oh, yeah, the only other thing I wrote down was Leanne saying, oh, I don't know if I did the right thing. And, you know, I have to, I, you know, by now I should have got caught feelings. I should have caught feelings. How do you know when you're going to catch feelings? I mean, to, really and truly, if you was out of the house, would you, well, to be honest, she probably needs somebody who's less nice. Uh, well, I don't even know if he's nice, but I, I don't know. But I get what she means. He's a lovely, to me, I think he's a nice looking bloke. And I think he's a good bloke. But there is something missing. And I think she needs somebody a bit more, um, not really like to Luke T, but somebody who's a bit more of a man, I think. I think she prefers, I think she needs somebody who's much older, much more mature, somebody who um, takes the initiative. Mind you, he does take the initiative a lot of the time. But anyway, I don't know what she wants. We'll have to wait and see. I hope he comes in so I can see. But I thought, yeah, I thought I'd just run that, that little review by you and my little thoughts and my little feelings. But I thought, you know, Shanice is in demand now. And who will she choose? And you know it's going to be the girls. Will it be the girls choosing again? I don't think the girls should choose tw um, two twice in a row. Because they chose the last time, didn't they? I think the boys should be choosing. Hopefully Luke T gets in there. Ah, oh, I really, I'm so glad they put Luke T in there. I think that's, that'll make me watch Love Island. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.